Hey guys, welcome to our small piece of the internet where we take a moment to ramble about some movies. And now our main rambler, the rambling Mango. Malango, how you doing this week, sir? I'm good. How you doing, Mike? Excellent, excellent. So we don't have a whole lot of time here this week, but I still want to get your take on your movies. And I do have one I want to talk about briefly, ever so briefly. So, so tell me, what's going on in the movies this week, sir? Yeah, uh, this is going to be a short show, but uh, there wasn't a lot going on in news anyway. So I'll just run down the lineup really quick, and then we can talk about uh, the movie you want to talk about. Uh, so yeah, in the weekend lineup, we had Ride Along that came out uh, this weekend. That was the big one. Uh, we also had Lone Survivor. Oh, these notes are so wrong. Oh, uh, yeah, we had, we had Lone Survivor come out. Uh, that did not come out this weekend, but that held strong at second uh, with twenty with uh, 23 million. Uh, right along, actually pulled in about 40 something million with a 15%, uh, only 15% on Rotten Tomatoes. But I mean, that was because that was a comedy involving. Uh, the infamous uh, Ice Cube, or Ice T, uh, Ice Cube, yeah, Ice, Ice Cube, Cube and yes. Kevin Hart. So I mean, like, uh, that's one that I'm so interested to see. But you know, the ratings don't pretty much. I think that's uh, based on your own humor. If you like Kevin Hart, then you'll probably enjoy this movie and, and the humor that he uh, presents. I can almost uh, guarantee it's better than uh, Kevin Hart on my uh, iPhone during Waves. Yes, probably, definitely. We also had uh, the Nut Job, the children's film, uh, pulled in about twenty point six million. That is still thirteen uh, percent. So some parents out there would drag to uh, take their kids. <laughs> and uh, the big one, Jack Ryan, uh, Shadow Recruit. I actually wanted to see this. I had free passes, so I missed that. A whopping sixty three percent on Rotten Tomato, but it did not pull any numbers big numbers in the box office. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of uh, another performer. Um, moving on to movie news, since we're speeding this along, uh, like I said, the news wasn't, there's not a lot of news going on. So there were some things that I thought was, uh, that were pretty interesting. Uh, there is a, a Fantastic Four screenplay coming out. So we might be getting a reboot to Fantastic Four. They've been talking uh, about this for a little bit. Yeah. I, you know, it'd be interesting to see, uh, you know, Marvel, now that they've had a couple, uh, couple goes at it you know <laughs> well, well remember yeah. this is still fox isn't it did they get or, this is fox i think it's still uh, fox. yes it is fox it's last fox. i heard fox they're like fox is really interested in making these bigger world things with x-men and fantastic four uh even like kind of floating the rumor of an x-men versus fantastic four could be several years down the road as well i don't think yeah that so will happen at all well, I mean, the guy that did Chronicles is also reported as somebody who, uh, who might be playing a role in this. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. That's something of interest. Um, also, uh, uh, Jesse Lee Martin, uh, he's a really awesome uh, actor, uh, most notably Law & Order. That's probably not what he's most notably you know. But he's, um, he's going to be uh, a role in Flash. On the nice. WB, so uh, as a Detective West from CDW's uh, or CW's Flash, so uh, that'll be interesting to see that they're expanding those kind of universes. And that's that's um, I know they're introducing the Flash uh, currently on Arrow. Uh, this is going to be a direct spinoff of that, correct? Yeah, apparently. Which brought up a question of speaking of Arrow, I am very behind on it. Is it worth continuing? Uh, yes, I, I think uh, if you know a little bit of DC, they're dropping a lot of hints in there. They're adding a lot of stuff. Like there's some Batman stuff in there if you know a couple names. Actually, if you watch recent movies, you'll be like, oh, really? That guy? Um, I, I think it's no, it, it's it's fleshing out very well. Um, I, I'm enjoying it. I, I think you should get into it. Yeah. All right. Uh, another quick note back on Kevin Hart. It seems that you know, with all the success in movies. He's uh, about due for another voiceover. So uh, <laughs> we have under uh, Captain Underpants, uh, and there's a whole bunch of big names for uh, people playing uh, voices, voice talents for that. So um, that'll be interesting to see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got Nick Roll, you got Jordan Peele from Key and Peele. Wow. Uh, you got Thomas uh, Middleditch, I think is his name, and Ed Helms. So, I mean, that's that's going to be an interesting lineup. That's some very funny uh, actors and comedians on there. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that uh, rolls off. 
Um, and then the last bit of news I thought was just interesting, uh, Breaking Bad's Aaron Paul is up for a role in Dark Tower. Nice. And, of course, Dark Tower is the um, kind of massive uh, uh, world Stephen uh, King kind of uh, thing, uh, which, uh, I mean, they're even saying, like, like parts of... I, I'm not familiar a lot with Stephen King stuff, uh, but, yeah. like, parts of The Stand and other stuff uh, tie into this whole Dark Tower universe in some ways. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with the uh, the whole universe of uh, Dark Tower, but I do think it's interesting that to see him play a role. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what his character. Mm-hmm. Um, I, in that. I, I know it from listening to shows where they are huge, 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 huge fans of of, of uh, Dark Tower. Uh, and are, have been talking about like the the prospects of this, and I know they've been talking about maybe part of it will be an HBO series, and then there'll be movies and stuff. I, this looks like the, this article goes a little bit more into whatever the latest plan is for it. Interesting. Yeah, like I said, uh, it'd be. If it, I am pretty curious to see like off the uh, off of the hills or off you know with the with the finalization of Breaking Bad. His character was so like defined in that. It's, it's always interesting to see how actors mm-hmm. bounce. Um, in, in a role that, in, I guess, in this one will be a very much darker. So awesome. Um, but yeah, and then uh, before we get to our quick water cooler, we'll just say that uh, the big movie coming out in the theaters this weekend, I believe, is I Frankenstein. I have no interest in seeing that, but I like the the actor. They followed uh, me on Twitter. Yes. So. And wouldn't respond to me. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's that's going to be a. Um, very over-budgeted visual effects that I don't think they're going to recoup their money. <laughs> over but we'll see. So uh, let's go to the reviews and water cooler. Kind of reversal here, but uh, we'll end on this note. So, yeah, a movie that I watched this weekend, um, or this past week, based on Chachi's recommendation, uh, was The Last Stand. and um, His or mine? Because I talked about this last week, I thought. Was it yours? I thought yeah, it was yeah, Chachi's. Yeah, I watched it. I like this movie. Yeah, I was uh, I was pleasantly surprised by it. I thought you know you had your 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 uh, rich kingpin drug lord who was you know who loves fast cars fast cars <laughs> yeah. Uh, Forrest Whitaker's character disappoints me sometimes. Uh, you know, there's that that, that role of people that um, continue to play the same kind of role where he plays a detective and mm-hmm. or an FBI agent or you know something like that. And it just felt like I. That would be something that uh, again I'd like to see what like when he got that script, maybe he thought this was going to be something, or maybe it was a favor that he was doing. I for somebody. think it's a payday. Yeah, they're like, they're like I, oh, I was I think, you a lot of. I think you money. got a lot of people in this movie that this was a payday. <laughs> yeah, I mean Arnold though, because you got to think like somebody came in like this is this is one of those movies that we're going to yeah, help. Yeah, but I don't think you got to you got to do a lot to talk Arnold into it, and and it really is kind of seems like. Uh, Arnold's return kind of thing, Does, isn't it? I mean, because the whole thing is he's old, he's a cop, yeah. he's a, still a badass, and that's what we're trying to say about Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's old, he's still a badass, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I'll be back. <laughs> so, no, I thought I enjoyed it. It, it was—it's everything I love about an old Arnie movie. Yeah, I thought it was very enjoyable. I would recommend it. Um, I, I would actually go as far as saying red box it. I would take the effort to go find a red box and rent it if you haven't seen it. It's pretty good. Um, and it is it is right now uh, on Netflix. Oh, it is on Netflix. Yeah, that's where I caught it. Even better. Yes. Uh, so yeah, stream that. Yeah. Do it. Hey, you saw Hansel and Gretel. That's I saw Hansel I and Gretel. Uh, this is Witch Hunters. Hansel and Gretel, Witch yeah. Hunters, with um, uh, what's his name, Jeremy Renner, who is a uh, Hawkeye in, in Avengers. He's been in uh, Born Legacy and uh, in all kinds of uh, Mission Impossible, the last one. Um, uh, and and this was I had no expectations going into this because I'm like, okay, it looks interesting. It came out about a year ago, I believe. Um, I enjoyed it. I yeah. I really enjoyed this movie like way more than I expected. It wasn't like the best movie ever, but I for a Netflix stream, it was a pleasant surprise. Um, so basically, it's Hansel and Gretel, and they actually do start with like the story, you know, the the the, the candy house and all that kind of stuff. Um, but then it's like, what happens after they kill their first witch? They keep killing witches. Um, 
Ooh, didn't see that coming. <laughs> no, no, of course not. I did read, uh, this is supposed to be the first of uh, an ongoing series, hopefully. Uh, they set yeah. up, I think, really well for that. Um, I look forward to see where they go with that. I could see this being another kind of underworld, kind of uh, alternative, creepy horror comedy series. Will Ferrell produce this? Interesting. The Anchorman produced this. Um, but it was, it was pretty good. I, I, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, but I, but I like these little, like, you know, fantasy, you know, crazy, still kind of badass kind of films like this. Um, yeah, yeah, no, so I recommend it. It's, it's, uh, again, another one streaming on Netflix right now, but you have a chance, um, you know, even Redbox or whatever. Um, I, I think it's worthwhile. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, I'll probably check it out. You said it's on Netflix? It's on Netflix. Is that all right? So let's let's add something new to the segment uh, since we have to wrap up pretty quickly. Are there any movies that you recommend for next week? If since you're not a box office person, uh, for for next week, as in like or, check for out. movies that you recommend, I'm guessing you can recommend that one. Hansel and Gretel. I will recommend this one. <laughs> Um, yeah, and that's the thing. And you know, I, I mostly watch stuff on my Netflix, on my Amazon Prime, uh, Hulu. There's, there's a couple actually on Hulu I want to see. They're WWE films, so I wasn't going to pay for them because they're usually eh. Um, so I'm probably I'm hoping to get a, one of those in here uh, over the weekend, and I might be able to, to tell you about that. Remember, I was checking out the ones before Dead Man Down, for instance, which was a WWE film. Um, so I'm always interested to just see what they're doing with it. Like, what did they do with John Cena in this film and, and, and stuff like that? But um, so so that's the other rec- that's the other recommendation if you are a wrestling fan and kind of want to see what these these uh, films they've been doing are about. Uh, Hulu, I, I think I believe the movies are just Hulu Plus, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I haven't logged in like the free Hulu. Uh, to see what the deal is. But they do have the reunion, Inside Out, which is uh, with Triple H. They also have the Chaperone, which was a fine, you know, I, you know, I, and a lot of these times these movies just, just seem like I expect to see this on USA on a Sunday afternoon kind of feel yeah, to them. Really. The Chaperone was very, very much it. It has the younger daughter from uh, Modern Family. Um, so, uh, so something else to potentially to check out there for anybody that's into those kinds of films. So, Interesting. That's all I got. Yeah. All right. Well, I have uh, I have three, but they're uh, Jack Reacher is on uh, Netflix. I checked that yes, out. Saw it's when it came Pittsburgh, out. It's a Pittsburgh one. I enjoyed it. I thought it could be a lot more violent, but it's still <laughs> I think decently good. Makes me Tricky. feel makes me feel weird to walk in front of the baseball stadium on the north side. Yeah. Well, that was a little disturbing. Dodge, I dodge and weave. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, good film. Drink, Drinking Buddies is another one that I highly recommend. Drinking it is a little buddies. rough. The guy, uh, the main guy from uh, Girls, or not Girls, uh, New Girl. Um, and uh, why can't I remember these names? Anyway, check it out. Drinking Buddies. Awesome movie. Oh, Olivia. I think Wilde. that's it. Awesome. So, all right, check it out. Uh, uh, I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitters. He's at Rambling Mango. And uh, and that's all the movies for this week. We'll see you next time. Oh, Olivia oh. Wilde, Jack Johnson, yes. and Kendra. <laughs> we'll two, hot, two very hot, attractive women and two very funny guys. <laughs> check it out. I'm sorry. Rambling Mango. He keeps rambling. We'll see you next time.